Grace family. Thank you for tuning in with us online in your living room. Now hit that bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get all the content the moment it comes out. And follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Can't wait to worship with you. Let's get ready to rock it up. build a friendship. Some people think it's all about climbing the ladder of popularity or gathering the biggest number of followers on social media. Others believe it means throwing a birthday party at the best place so everyone will want to come. Or even laughing along when someone makes a mean joke so that you can fit with the in crowd. But none of those things can promise you real friendship. Building true friendships is not about being in. It's about being the end for others. It's showing someone that you care about them and not just yourself. It's a smile and an encouraging word when someone in your class is having a bad day. It's making a spot at your lunch table for the kid who doesn't have a place to sit. It's inviting a new kid to your birthday party, even if it's just in the backyard. <laughs> it's taking time to make your own get well card for the kid in your small group who broke his leg. When you choose to be a friend, you create a safe, welcoming place for others. You'll discover you're building true friendships and others will see God at work in your life. That's why friendship is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Cause worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Yay! Welcome to the block party. We are super excited that you have joined us tonight. Thank you for inviting us into your home and welcome to the party. My name is Miss Diana and this is Wednesday Night Bible Study. We are so excited because all month long we're having a party and we are loving this month's Bible verse. I'm going to introduce it to you right now. This month's Bible, Bible verse is Proverbs 17, 17 and it goes something like this. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. You know, I love that verse because when trouble comes, I'm gonna need my friends and I got some really super great friends. You know, the bottom line for tonight is to choose your friends carefully. And I have chosen some really great friends to help us on Wednesday night. I have Mr. Obi and I have Mr. Eric, who I love. He's the youth pastor here at Grace Bible Church. And they are joining me for this block party. Let's go see what's going on. Okay, Mr. Obi. So I know we're talking about choosing our friends carefully, right? Um, I'm looking at this list and this is gonna be the most epic, most dynamic, most superb block party ever. I mean, in, in order for that to happen, Mr. Obi, we have to make sure we invite all of the cool kids. So, I think we can invite John, who's the captain of the football team, and of course, Heather. Oh, okay, okay, I gotta stop you right there. I don't know about all the cool kids. Now, if you remember, John gets into a fight wherever he goes. Yeah, 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 that's true and all. That's but not the kind of thing we want at this party. I understand, but John can make us look cool, Mr. OB, and then we can hang out with John and Heather and their friends and, you know, be cool. Well, when you bring that group, it's gonna be toxic. I was thinking we should invite Jeff to the party. Jeff? Yes. 
The kid got math class, Jeff? Yes. The Jeff with the huge binocular glasses, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff. Jeff who wears his pants way up to his chest, Jeff? I'm talking about the Jeff that's reliable. The Jeff that's always looking out for me. The Jeff with the biggest heart I've ever seen. That Jeff. Uh, He's coming to our party. The loser, Jeff. Got it. Okay. Um, Miss Obi, I'm not sure if you know, but if you invite Jeff, Jeff's gonna make us look uncool. Um, I don't know about you, but I wanna be cool. So I'm gonna put down John. I don't know about you, Eric, but if you invite John, we all might end up in jail because he's gonna start something. Okay, buddy. I think you're pushing it. You I'm know? pushing it. Um, let me call up John and let's see if he'll accept the invitation. If he okay. does accept the invitation, then he can come. I bet he's not even gonna answer. I bet you he will. Uh, John is busy being cool. I'm sure. I mean, he is the captain of the football team after all, right? And so, uh, your boy. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, um, I was wondering. We were throwing a party at the end of the month. Yeah, we want you to come. Eight o'clock. Awesome, perfect. See what I mean? Jeff. Reliable. Jeff is not coming to my block party. Well, it's not your block party. Miss Toby. I'm gonna let you know right now, if you invite Jeff, there will not be a block party. It will be a loser party. He's not coming here, okay? He's not. It's not gonna happen. Yay! Jeff is a Mr. loser. Eric! I don't want- Yay, Mr. Eric is joining us. Hey, Mr. Obi, I've been looking all over for you. What are you guys working on? Well, Ms. Diana, I'm so glad you asked. We are actually trying to gather a list together for our block party. But Mr. Obi here wants to invite loser Ms. Jeff. Diana. I want this party to be remembered as a party where everybody is welcome to, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. And yeah, so what's the problem? The problem that? is Jeff is not allowed at our party because he's not cool. I want to be viewed as cool. I want my friend Obi to be cool. And with Zion, I think you want to be cool too, right? Oh. In order for us to be cool, we have to invite John, who just so happens to be captain of the football team and girlfriend Heather is captain of the children's oh. team. Don't you want everybody to have fun Eric, at this party? No. No, Mr. Obi, no, 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 Mr. Eric. Oh my goodness. You know what? I really think it's important that you guys watch today's so-and-so show. You're gonna learn so much about the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon. But not, this, not just that, you're gonna learn about choosing your friends carefully. So, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and throw it over to Miss Michelle for some worship time. Let's go, Miss Michelle. Woo, I'm going to a party, I'm going to a party. OMG, Grace Kids, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. As you guys can see, Miss Michelle is still on a high because of her invitation to be part. Hey, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm working on different outfits. Like, I mean, what do you guys think? Like, I mean, I'm going with the green look. I don't really know what to go with, but we're gonna have to find the perfect outfit for this party. So, now, you guys, this whole month we're learning about friendship. And Miss Michelle, like the bottom line says, pick your friends wisely. Make sure that those people that she lets in her life, she knows that they're gonna have her back that they're gonna be those friends that worship Jesus with her and glorify Jesus with her all the time and give gangsta for Jesus, you guys already know. So, I'm excited for us to get this Wednesday started. So you know what, let's stop wasting time. I'll put this invitation down, but not too far for me because I'm going to to a part day. I'm all excited all about worshiping, glorifying God. And you guys, Jesus is my best friend, he's your best friend, he's everyone's best friend. So how about we glorify him? You guys already know what to do. Let's go, it's worship time. Whoa. All right, guys, kids, you already know what to do. One, two, three, what time is it? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet.
Spice Kids. All right, John, are you ready for the tug of war? Oh, I'm ready, Brandon. On your mark, get set, go! go. How, how is this helping us to learn how to do the tug of war? It's not, it's not, something's wrong. We need to be both pulling on the same rope. Oh, yes, of course. <sighs> Let's try this again. Yeah. Star wipe. <laughs> on your mark, get set. Go. <clears throat> oh, man, this isn't how a tug of war works either. No? No. We should be on opposite sides of the rope. Otherwise, it's just going to be. <clears throat> Oh, that was unusual. I'm okay. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. I'm John. And this is The So-and-So Show, a show where me and my best friend try to have some fun, we learn something, Oof. we do... You okay, do you need a lozenge? No, I'm fine, please, continue. All right. Anyways, the show where me and my best friend, we try and learn something. What are you doing? Why are you making that noise? You want me to stop talking? No, it's, no, it's, no. no. Just. This is a show where me and my best friend, what is the matter? Why do you keep crying when I say best friend? Are you? It's just that we've been best friends for a long time now, right? So long. Well, the thing is, I've got a new best friend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, we can still be friends without being best friends. I mean, we're around each other all the time. It makes sense that we could use a break once in a while. But, but, Believe me, I get it. But I don't. Who is this new best friend anyway? Tell me everything. Okay, so I was walking through the store the other day, mm -hmm. and I hear this voice out of the blue. Hi. So I turned around, and I said, hi, back, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not every day that you meet people who are just plain old friendly, right? So yeah, but anyway, before you know it, we got to talking, and you wouldn't believe how smart she is. I mean, she knows something about everything. We were in the store talking for like hours. Manager said it, I had to leave or make a purchase. And uh, next thing you know, we're walking out of the store together. <laughs> We've been best friends ever since. Well, that's awesome. When do yeah. I get to meet her? Oh, oh, she's here. Oh, she is? Yeah. Well, in that case, please welcome someone who knows everything. Is she coming? What? Oh, through the door? Oh, no, of course not. No, no. I don't understand. Besides, what? she's already here. Brandon, allow me to introduce Sylvia. Ah. Say hello, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> she slays me. That's a great joke. Hey, John, you know your best friend can't be a robot voice in a box, right? Oh, jealous. No. Of course it can. Look at all the fun times we've had together already. Hey, Sylvia, play the friendship montage. Playing friendship montage. John, this thing is not your friend. Jeez. It's a box that you found it. It's a box, all right? And, it, and it's just like every other box in the store. That's not true. It is. That is not true. She has answers to all my questions. We have the same taste in music. We, we know okay, where look, I like it, to all eat. All it does is repeat facts from the internet and play generated playlists. No, so she also knows what the weather is going to be like. How does she know that? It's, 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 it's a computer. It's a, it can only give you facts, right? It can't give you, it can't help you like a, a real friend can. You know, like, like a, what's a problem that you're having right now? Anything. 
Tell me. Okay. Okay. Well, you know my neighbor. Longbeard Carl? Yeah. yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah, well, he keeps blocking my driveway. He's got like six cars for no reason, and like, it just keeps frustrating me. Okay, well, um, as your friend who is actually listening to your problems, I suggest that you go to Longbeard Carl and you tell him what's bothering you. <laughs> uh huh. Well, what do you think, Sylvia? Searching for tow truck companies. Oh, come on. You are not going to call a tow truck and tow Longbeard Carl's car without talking no, to No, I him. know, I know. But I'm just saying, Sylvia heard the problem and came up with a possibly good solution. The tow truck is on its way. No, no, cancel the tow truck. Cancel the tow truck. Tow truck canceled. She was just trying to be helpful. Uh-huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. guys. Hi, Kellen. Now ordering nine melons. No, oh, no, 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 not melons. Kellen. No, cancel the melon order. Cancel the melon order. Canceling melons. Whoa! You guys found one of the new Sylvia's? You know, sometimes it seems like she found me. He thinks it's his new best friend. Oh, she's way more than a friend. She can do this. Sylvia, go disco mode. Disco mode engaged. Sylvia, stop. No, no, don't listen to him, Sylvia. Uh, uh, go crazy bananas. Ordering 80 bananas. What is it with you and produce? No, cancel the banana order. Canceling bananas. You got a story for us, Kellen? I do. And speaking of produce, here's Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter are the best of friends, as you may know, but sometimes they don't make the wisest choices. So here's a little wisdom from the book of Ecclesiastes to help them out. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Did you hear that, Count Lupe? Two are better than one. What perfect timing. We can help each other get to the bottom of these stairs. Ho oh, ho ho! Who needs help? Last one down is improperly aged fromage! Uh, uh, oh! Ah! Yay! Ah! Uh. Ow! Lupe! You fell! Oh! Crack! Uh, oh! Crack! Yeah! Uh. I'll be happy to help you traverse the dangerous staircase, Mr. Fritter. I have brought a pillow. Oh, thank you, Perry! You are a good friend. Um, yeah. The verses continue. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either of them falls down. Then the one can help the other one up. But suppose a person falls down and doesn't have anyone to help them up. Then feel sorry for that person. I couldn't have made it safely without you, Perry. And I could not have made it safely without you, Mr. Fritter. I could not make it to the hospital without either of you. Help! Friends are there to help each other. And when we mess up or when we fall down, friends can help us get back up. But Ecclesiastes has even more wisdom for us. <clears throat> One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves. And a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. It's very crowded in here, Perry. I hope we'll be safe. We will be safe, Mr. Fritter, as long as we stick together. There's strength in numbers. You're right, Perry. You're so right. Hey, where's Count Lupe anyway? <laughs> Hello, you two! <laughs> I hope, hope, hope you are enjoying being packed in like cans of sardines while I have all the space in the world! <laughs> are you sure it's safe up there alone, Count Lupe? We can make room for you down here if you'd like. <laughs> Never! Besides, I am not all alone. 
there are two bags of uh, frozen green peas here to, to, to keep me company. Oh, Count Lupe, those peas have been there for years. I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. <laughs> Nonsense! It is they who should not m m m mess with m m m me! Count Lupe, look out! Oh no. Yeah, that was silly. But the point is, a friend is there for you when you need help. They give you advice, they stand up for you when you're in trouble. It's good to have a friend. Isn't that right, Count Lupe? We. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thank you, Kellen. That was a good lesson. Mm -hmm. It was very uh, fruitful. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Hey, do you get why this thing can't be your friend now? I mean, it's not going to give you advice. It's not going to stand up for you when you're in trouble. Uh, okay, okay. You're right. But it is good for one thing. Sylvia? Reveal the question. Thank you, Sylvia. The question of the day is, what makes someone a good friend? Someone who listens and cares. Yeah, someone who knows a little more than just how to do an internet search. Hmm. Yeah. Brandon, will you be my best friend again? Of course. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Sylvia. I'm going to go ahead and shut you down, all right? Yep. What are you doing, John? My mind is going, Daisy, Daisy, give your answer, do. So talk about it together. Uh, what makes someone a good friend? And we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> How long are these stairs? That's too much, man. That's amazing. So you see, guys, in the story, we noticed that Solomon, the wisest king ever, he gave you that proverb that said two is better than one. And if we need someone to pick us up, we better be careful who we invite to this party because you just never know when you're going to need them. But let me find out. Why do you want to invite John to this party? Well, Miss Diana, I just thought that with John being the captain of the football team, that it would be pretty cool to have him there, you know, to make us look good. Okay, I mean, yeah, I can, I can see why you would do that. Okay. Um, oh, Mr. Obi, why do you want to invite Jeff to the party? Well, Jeff has, he, he's always been there for me, Miss Di. And you see the verses, um, two are better than one. And he really picked me up when I was down. There was a time when I was failing three of my classes and Jeff is really smart and he took the time to tutor me and I ended up passing all three. Wow. When, when has John ever been there for you? He's got a good point, um, Mr. When was the last time John helped you out? You know, I can't recall a time ever when John helped me out. I mean, he couldn't even answer the phone when I called him, so. Yeah. Well, that's what that's what King Solomon is saying. It's like we have to be very careful who we hang out with, you know, who the, pe who the people we're bringing into our lives. Because you never know when you're going to need them or not just that, you never, you never know when you're going to be in some kind of trouble and they're going to be right there for you. And really, you don't know that about John, but he really does know that about Jeff, okay? So I think that you both need to go back to this uh, party list and make sure that we are very careful on who we invite, okay? I know. How about we invite somebody really, really cool to the party? <gasps> she dances. Um, is that Miss Michelle? Miss Michelle? Yes, our worship leader, Miss Michelle. I think she would be really great at the party. Yeah, she can teach us some of those dances. Yeah, okay, okay. Awesome. This one shows nice. <clears throat> yes, girl. I'm holding the invitation in my hands for right now. I'm like really excited, like really, really, really excited. I don't even know what I'm going to be. You know what? Let me, let me get started. Hold on. You can, you can just listen in. Hey, guys, kids. Welcome back. What an amazing Wednesday we've had so far. The social show never disappoints. 
The story, of course, is always amazing with Helen. And now we are down to worship. And Diana, Miss Diana and Mr. Obi, they always do an amazing job on Wednesdays. Those two, they're like my best friends too. Like, yay! Because we all get gangsta for Jesus. She gets gangsta for Jesus too. That's my sister. That's my other best friend. You guys know Miss Nerva the twin. So you know she has to be gangsta for Jesus too. You already know. So, Grace Kids. Um, I'm gonna have to let her go because we're about to get started for worship. Because you guys already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. What time is it, Grace Kid? You already know. So let's get started. It's worship time. Ha ha! All right, Grace Kids, you already know what to do. Everybody down to the ground. What time is it? What time is it, guys? What time? I can't hear you. What time is it? That was pretty crazy, right? The fact that Eric was inviting John simply because he was popular, that is not a good reason to invite anyone to a party. I love that at the end, the guys worked it out. 
Now, I also love that Solomon, who is the wisest king ever, gave us some really great advice that we need to be very, very careful who we hang around with because one day we may need that person. Two are better than one. That's what Solomon always says. You always need someone by your side, someone that always has your back. And you know what? That brings me to Jesus. Jesus always has my back. I hope that he has your, has your back too. Why don't we ask him to be a part of this big party with us, you know? He wants to invite you to the best party ever, is that when he comes back, he's gonna take us all back to heaven and we're gonna have the biggest party there because everyone's invited and you're invited too. So if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your opportunity to do that. The Bible tells us that we must ask God to come into our lives. We must believe what the Bible says about Jesus. And then one day, we're gonna be able to all be caught up and go to heaven with him. Do you wanna to go to heaven when you die? So then let's say this prayer together, okay? All you have to do is repeat after me. All right, go ahead and bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat after me. See, dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I ask you to forgive me of all my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And Jesus, I need you to come into my heart and stay there forever. And Jesus, I mean this prayer with all of my heart. In Jesus' name, amen.